Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about crypto.com and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you link a deposit account to your crypto.com account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's actually going to be a quick video. There's not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to link a deposit bank account to your crypto.com app? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're looking to buy any kind of cryptocurrencies or like Bitcoin or Ethereum, crypto.com is a pretty popular place to buy cryptocurrencies. But in order to buy cryptocurrency, you do need to fund your account. And in order to do that, you do need to link a deposit account to your crypto.com. That way you can transfer money from your bank account, like Wells Fargo or Bank of America or, or something like that. And then once it's linked, you can transfer money, green cash, so like US dollars into your crypto.com app. Then when the money's in your crypto.com account, then you can start to buy cryptocurrencies. And it's all handled here in the crypto.com app. It's this blue and white one right here. It looks like it has maybe a lion or a dog on the front. If you don't have this app already, check my video description. I'll try to leave my referral link there. But I'm going to go ahead and open the app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. This is the home screen. Here on the home screen, you're going to see various cryptocurrencies that you might be following. But if you'd like to connect a deposit account to your crypto.com app, what you want to do is click on this button here on the top. It's called transfer. It's a blue button. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, the screen pops up and then you have these two options. You can either deposit or withdraw. But if you're going to be adding funds into your crypto.com, to buy Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, you want to click on this one right here called deposit. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next to the screen pops up and you have these two different options, but if you're gonna be transferring money from your bank account into crypto.com, you wanna choose this one right here called fiat. It has a little green money icon next to it. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, next to the screen pops up so you can choose the different types of currency that you're going to be transferring into your crypto.com app. For me, I work in US dollars, so I'm going to just choose this. If not, if you work in a different currency, click this blue button and search for your currency. I'm going to click here now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. And once again, you have two options. You have ACH and wire transfer. Just know that a lot of times when you are banking with like Chase or Bank of America, in order for them to send the wire out, usually there's a fee. It could be $15 or $20. So that's the more expensive option. The nice thing is crypto.com does not charge you a wire fee to receive. This usually goes through much quicker, usually within one business day. However, if you go with the ACH, usually your bank's not going to charge you a fee to send that out. Also, there's no fee to receive it, but it can take two, three, sometimes four business days to hit your crypto.com app. This is usually the most common. So I'm going to go ahead and, and walk through the ACH. If you're going to go with wire, you need to set this up with your bank. Let me click set up and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and checked on the wire button. And as you can see, you need to transfer at least $5,000 if you're going to be using a wire transfer. Also, once the wire goes through, you can start purchasing instantly, which is different than the ACH because it can take longer. This doesn't really apply to me, so I'm going to go back. Okay, I went ahead and went back. I'm going to click on this ACH details button now. Okay, guys, here is the ACH instructions. So essentially what you're doing is you are going to be transferring money from your bank, whether it's Bank of America or Wells Fargo or something like that, into your bank account with crypto.com. So what they do is they give you the routing number and the account number for you. And with this information, you are going to provide this to your bank and set up an ACH transfer. So what you want to do is maybe screenshot this or write this information down the account. I'm sorry, the routing number and the account number, and you'll set this up with your bank. Depending on your bank, the ACH setup is going to be a little different. For me, I bank with Chase. So I'm going to show you how, what it looks like with Chase. If you bank with one of the large banks, it's going to be probably somewhat similar, just a different maybe clicking functions just because it's a different layout. But let me switch over to my Chase account. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked on my Chase account. This is the Chase app. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and look to set up your account transfers. For Chase, you want to click on this little three horizontal lines here on the top left. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, once you click there, you're going to look for this option right here called account transfer. This one looks like it would be the option, but just so you know, it's not. This is for like if you're setting up payroll, if you happen to be a business owner or something like that. So account transfer is what you want to look for. I'm going to click there now. OK, next, this drop down happens. And what you want to do is look for this one called manage external accounts because you're working with your crypto.com external account. I'm going to click there now. OK, next, the screen pops up and it's going to show all the different accounts, external bank accounts that you have associated with your Chase account. But in order to add your crypto.com, you want to click on this button down here, add external accounts. I'm going to click there now. 
Okay, so this is the most important part. So here you're going to paste in the inform or copy the routing number and account number that you had on your crypto.com account. So I'm gonna enter all that information in off screen now. Okay, I went ahead and entered in all that required information. As you can see, Metropolitan Commercial Bank, it matches the information that was provided on crypto.com. While that looks good, go ahead and click this blue next button here at the bottom. Okay, next you wanna choose what account type it's going to be checking purpose you can use personal or business I, i'm not sure for me it's personal my crypto.com account is a personal account so i'm going to leave it at that account nickname you can go ahead and add something if you like i'm going to go ahead and put crypto okay if all that looks good click this blue next button here at the bottom okay next this pops up it lets you know that they're going to make two small deposits usually the deposit is going to be something like 10 cents and 18 cents once you get that you're going to get an email from crypto.com letting you know you got two deposits into your crypto.com account and that takes about two to three business days before you're going to see that on this screen go ahead and click next all right so you want to go ahead and read through the terms and agree to the terms go ahead and click confirm here at the bottom okay now you can see that that deposit has been initiated and that's all you need to do to add a deposit account to your crypto.com so again what you want to do now is in about two or three days when you get the email from crypto.com it's going to say something like 15 cents was deposited and 23 cents you'll come back to this section let me click on done okay here we are when you are managing the external accounts as you can see this is the crypto.com account right here it's pending verification so once you get those emails from crypto.com just come back here and click on this line i'm gonna click on the line and show you what it looks like okay once you get in here then it's going to give you two different lines where you can enter the deposits and confirm the deposits once that happens then those two accounts are going to be linked and you will be able to transfer money from your chase account or bank of america or whatever bank you bank with into your crypto.com account that is the easiest way i know how to add a deposit account to your crypto.com account. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.